Welcome back, Woody here. Today we are doing a training video on how to remove a fiberglass cast using a 940 cast saw. This video is intended not only for ortho types um, and people in the medical field, but also for patients who will view this video, uh, specifically patients uh, that will be coming into your office, your facility, um, if they are pediatric patients, hopefully this video will give them a little bit of peace of mind prior to coming into having their cast removed. Sometimes the younger patients have a little bit of a, of a fear factor, so hopefully this will help with them. And, and we'll go over in the video how the, the cast saw actually um, does more vibrating than it does actually cutting. Um, and we can even do a little demo on that uh, firsthand. So anyway, uh, what, you're gonna, what we're going to do today, this is the cat. We're going to do a short arm fiberglass cast is what we're going to remove. Uh, two layers of fiberglass, a layer of cotton web roll underneath, and a stockinette. The cast saw is pretty easy to operate. It has two speeds. It has a low speed and a high speed. And like I said a second ago, um, even on low speed, it really does little to no harm. it really just vibrates back and forth. It doesn't actually circulate. And when you use what we call the in and out cutting method, the in and out cutting method with the, with the fiberglass cast and, and plaster as well, um, you'll find that the blade doesn't overheat as quickly. The vacuum hood does help with the circulation of the air and helps keep the blade cool. Uh, I'll do a little starter intro here so you can see what we're talking about. And I'll do it on low speed because the high speed is a little bit uh, louder and may affect the video quality. Uh, but I'll do it up close here so you can see. I'll do it on low. So what you want to do is go in and out. When doing the in and out method, the blade doesn't overheat and you can actually feel the blade penetrate the fiberglass. You can feel it penetrate the fiberglass. When you feel it touch the cotton, you back away. You do this every time you go in and out, every time. This will keep the blade from overheating. It'll keep you, you can actually see without me having to use the spreaders, it doesn't penetrate the cotton. This is very, very important for not only patient comfort and satisfaction, but for your own peace of mind to know that you're giving quality patient care without actually creating uh, secondary injuries. So for uh, time purposes, because we want to keep this video at, at about a five minute length, I'm going to pause for just a moment and I'm going to go ahead and cut the other side and then I'm going to go on to the next step after that. So give me just one moment and we're back. So as I just paused for a second, you saw that I cut the medial side of the cast midline and what I've done during the pause, I've gone ahead and cut the lateral side. And as you can see, let me grab, go ahead and grab the spreaders so that you can see. These are cast spreaders. They should be attached to the unit. You place them inside and you just give it a little, just a little spread. Pretty easy. I'll do the other side as well so you can see. Little spread. And as you can see, when operated correctly, you should never go through the cotton. You should never go through the cotton and accidentally, accidentally scrape or leave a little mark on your patient or your the, the whether adult patient or, or or pediatric patient. Then you get regular old safety scissors and you just you just cut through the cotton. Now, if you have somebody who's a little bit nervous with the scissors, I'll show you a trick real quick. You can cut the lip of the stockinette. You can cut the lip of the stockinette and you can run the scissors between the stockinette and the cotton so that the scissors are actually running the length of the arm between the cotton and the stockinette and that will, will keep the, the actual scissor from rubbing on the skin and it'll, it'll help with the, with the fear factor on the kids as well. But as you can see, the cast comes right off and when operated correctly, you can see, here, okay, here's the, here's the other side. You can see how we didn't, not, not only did we not cut through the cotton, but we didn't cut through the stockinette. So that way, when you're, when you're dealing with kid patients, this, this is super important. I mean, it really, really creates a nice comfort factor and a, and a level of trust with the caregiver. And of course, if you are an ortho type and this is, you're using this for training purposes, um, I think this will be very, very helpful. 
So I hope this video helps and uh, look for future videos. Uh, please feel free in the comments to leave any uh, request if you want a certain type of video and we can address those the best we can. Um, look for many, many, many more videos to come in the, in the coming months. Thank you very much. Have a good day.